Okay, uh, in this video, we'll look at why water damages phones. Okay, so, imagine this phone was dropped in you know, a bathtub or in some water. Then water will get in, get everywhere. Will get into, get underneath every. The board will go in between the chips here, and you know, in the battery as well. So, so this whole, uh, so water molecules. And water will be you know, in every crevice of the phone. So before we actually uh, look into here, let, let's look at how a circuit works again and how water may uh, affect the uh, what the circuit does and the, the flow of current in a circuit. So in a circuit, we have the source. This is what the battery. Or it could be a signal as well. A signal is uh, being sent from here and goes through, let's say we have two resistors here. Right. And one resistor is bigger than the other. So let's say this is uh, 100 ohms. Let's say this is uh, 100 K ohms, which is basically 100,000 ohms. So this is a thousand times bigger than this. We'll call this R1 for resistor 1, we'll call this R2, resistor 2. So from the battery, current will flow in this direction, like this. But when the current gets to this junction over here, the current will divide. So the current will divide into this path, this is I1, and this path, I2. So the current will divide into two paths. The question is, how much current will flow in here, and how much current will flow in there? So that's the main question. So the word resistor means it resists the resistor is it resists the flow of current. So the bigger the resistor, it resists the flow of current. So this will be small. So you'll just have a small current in here, and th because this current, uh, this resistor, in uh, relative to the 100 kilo ohm resistor, is smaller by a factor of a thousand. So you'll have large current flow through flow through this this branch. So this is the main idea of how current will divide uh, depending on uh, the paths. So now let's say that we have water is all over this. So this is submersion water. Then we'll have another path for water because water has ions in it. Ions, it has uh, some minerals. It could have some material, unless it's pure water. If it's um, deionized water, so this is regular water, and then we have deionized water. The ionized water has doesn't have these ions. It has it doesn't have these material m minerals. So if you drop your phone in deionized water, it'll still work. Okay, it'll still work. Um, and you can just dry the phone, dry the phone, and you just leave it out to dry. It'll, it'll be fine. Um, but with regular water, you have these ions and minerals, which is another path for the current to flow. So. Uh, if this is if this is your phone and you drop it in water then the current will actually flow through here rather than through here so your circuit won't work meaning your phone work, won't work and that's the basic reason why water will damage phones another thing is batteries so let's say you have a battery that looks like this and you have the, the positive connection here plus and minus over here and it's one of those uh, you know, name brand uh, batteries like Duracell or some other uh, battery energizer or whatever. So you have these this connect here. I don't know if you've done this before or not, but if you, know, you can find some, maybe find some YouTube videos on this, if you touch this on your tongue, so if you just uh, place your tongue on this, then you'll feel this shock on your tongue. The reason for that is on your tongue is moisture. You've got water on your tongue, and so the water is being this. Path, so you see this resistive path is is so you're creating a path in between the plus and minus using your tongue. So the current is going th from the positive to the negative 
through your tongue, through the water on your tongue. That's why you feel that shock. So a lot of batteries these days, it has that cylindrical shape, and you've got the positive and the negative over here. So you can't, you know, you can't place your tongue or whatever like that. And if you place your fingers across it, your fingers don't have that moisture all or, all across the hand for the uh, current to flow through. So this is a lot safer than these kind of tear cell or energizer kind of uh, batteries. Also, if you put this on some kind of uh, iron. Um, you know, some threads of iron, some ball of iron threads, then it actually, you know, it will actually catch fire because you're introducing current through that too. But it, it's a little bit different from this water damage. But um, going going back to the point here, the water provides a path for the current to flow, and so if you place water in here, instead of the current flowing through this designated path throughout the circuit the current will flow through the water, the path of the water, and uh, the circuits and the chips won't do its original function because the current has been taken away from them or has been added to it or some uh, effect due to the, due to the water. Due to the water. Okay, so so the, that's the main reason. It's, uh, it creates another path for the current to flow.